nuclear weapon. There are emails that are now public subpoenaed from the White House showing the Obama administration was ecstatic about loaning money to Solyndra, a company that's now belly up. One message from the Kaiser Foundation, a wealthy Obama political donor, to a member of Solyndra's board claiming Vice President Joe Biden's team had, quote, an orgasm after Kaiser's people mentioned the solar panel company. So did the enthusiasm lead the White House to ignore the warning signs? Joe Barton, Texas Republican, member of the House Energy and Commerce Committee. That's the committee that oversees the Department of Energy. And, sir, welcome back here to America's News. Glad to be on your program. What are you learning from this? Well, we're learning that the White House doesn't really want to cooperate with our investigation. They appear to think that as long as they say everything's okay, it's okay. And what we say is give us the documents, give us the facts, and let us determine what's wrong and what's right. Yeah. Uh, the White House is saying the emails were cherry-picked? Uh, it goes on to say well, that there's no indication that favoritism came into play on this decision. Do you see it the same way? I do not see it the same way. They keep saying this was a merit-based decision. Uh, we have voluminous reports that this was a very weak technology uh, and should, should not have been funded. In fact, the Bush administration made the decision not to fund this specific loan guarantee. George Kaiser made 17 visits to the White House. And they're saying in not one of those visits did he talk about Solyndra. Do you know what he talked about at the White House? <laughs> well, he was interviewed yesterday by committee staff, and I've not seen the transcripts uh, of those interviews. But uh, apparently he would have the staff believe that uh, while he was in the White House 17 times uh, and everybody and their dog knew that his foundation was a major uh, uh, owner of the Solyndra company, uh, that it, 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 it never came up. That you just think kind of you can, you figure begs the out, question. Do you think you can figure out, either based on these emails or perhaps through the interview that was conducted this week, why he was there? But today is the day the White House is supposed to comply with the subpoena request, and the indications are that they're certainly not going to be in full compliance, so we'll have to keep pushing. But, but there's a reason there's an oversight and investigation subcommittee of the Energy and Commerce Committee, and that's to get these facts, put them before the American public, and determine what really happened. And what do you think happened? Uh, I think the Obama administration, for whatever reason, decided to, to, to really push this cylinder loan guarantee, and those discussions occurred uh, uh, in the White House. And I think uh, it's odd to me that the Bush administration in January of 2009 says this is not a good deal. The Obama administration in March of 2009 says not only is it a, not a bad deal, it's a great deal and let's expedite getting this thing going. Uh, that has to, to me, implies that there was discussion uh, in the White House about it and it just wasn't a, a bureaucratic decision at DOE. It also appears in these emails from people connected to the company of Solyndra and one email said uh, with regard to the loan and the encouragement they were getting from, from Washington, they felt, quote, that's awesome, get us a Department of Energy loan. Isn't that what ticks well, people off? Because that's, that's taxpayer money. Well, again, if this is a merit-based de decision, where is the merit? I mean, the Treasury Department is skeptical. Uh, career folks at DOE are skeptical. Career people at OMB are skeptical. 